The discoverers, and later the settlers, extended their linguistic colonization all over the planet. There are few that ask the native for the native name of their surroundings. Locally named the Napoleon fish, how was the humphead wrasse called before the French Revolution? The camouflage of the octopus is so perfect, it's hard to identify it in this image at first sight. The octopus is a very unsociable species that not only avoids the presence of possible predators, it also feels threatened by those of his own kind. The surroundings are so beautiful that the diver feels the urge to touch what he sees. But for the octopus, or many fish, we are possible predators, and our games, for them, are threats of death. The friendly insistence of the diver represents enormous stress to many animals. They can be so scared that they even leave their nests and forget their young. Over the years, the diver learns to interact without hassling them. The octopus flees from us at full speed, changing color time and again, trying to camouflage itself. But even so, we resisted accepting this simple message, please leave me alone. Evolution has generated differences among the branches of the same species. All parrotfish have teeth fused into a beak, which is the origin of their name. Nevertheless, this parrotfish has a protuberance on its forehead that it uses like a ram to break into small pieces the coral on which it feeds. Evolution equips each species with peculiarities that differentiate them. In some cases, it modifies their mouths to facilitate the search for food, and in others, their fins to swim. The inexperienced diver usually is terrified by the presence of a single shark and our panic can alter his behavior. But if we simply observe his movements, he'll put himself within reach of our hand. The legend of the man-eating shark has been refuted. The majority feed only on mollusks and small fish, but there's something in its appearance, as if it were innate in us, that makes it frightening to us. The octopus comes out of its hiding place to feed. The camera catches him by surprise and he tries to blend into the bottom. But its need to eat is greater. And for that reason it ignores us and with its eight tentacles searches for food among the rocks. And it boasts of its impossible elasticity.
In spite of their sharp teeth, moray eels, like this black-spotted one, do not attack human beings if we don't provoke them. When they do, their bites cause permanent wounds. In some species, their jaws are so powerful that in order to get them to release their grip, you have to pry them off. Most of the species are hidden during the day. They take advantage of the night to hunt, leaving the caves in the coral where they hide their long bodies, which in the largest species can reach three meters. We've found a clown triggerfish. He's so rare that it's almost a gift to see it. Its friendly aspect hides one of the most peculiar systems of defense in the underwater world. He has two fins on his back. The first fin, more on top, is composed of two hard thorns that remain folded until it extends them as if they were a pair of arrows. Some plant species, like this alga, have developed a way to move across the coral in search of food. At first sight, the diver doubts whether it's a plant that looks like an animal, or an animal that tries to deceive its predators imitating a seaweed. The ocean has defied the postulates of science on diverse occasions. At the deepest depths, some living beings do not breathe oxygen like animals, nor carbon dioxide like plants, but nitrogen. The species that coexist on the reef are so many that prey and predator swim near each other, and that's amazing. Although this school of fish may seem numerous, the fish that swim far from the protection of the reef in the middle of the ocean do so in schools of fish much denser than these. The compactness of the school is for the predator an obstacle to distinguishing a single fish as its prey. If it attacks the group as a whole, it doesn't get a thing. In some cases, the schools of fish are formed by several different species. Not always as protection, but also to expel some resident fish from the area of the reef.
In the Maldive Islands, atolls abound, the preferred refuge of the blunt-nosed six-gill shark. Although it's docile, it's one of the most aggressive species towards divers.